Okay, so we all know that having a separate lens, separate glass from a camera, interchangeable with maybe an APS-C or a full-frame camera, will give you really great imagery. In fact, right now, I'm using a 23mm f1.4 lens on a Sony ZV-10. But what about for a webcam? So if you've watched any of the content on my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of the Makose web camera. It's a 4K uh, webcam. It's kind of a very industrial, like, CCTV-type camera. But because it's a CCTV type camera, it can also take a CS mount style lens. So you can do things like add this guy on top of that camera. So that gives you uh, zoom in, zoom out, also the ability to uh, change the aperture and manually focus the camera. So now you can have custom glass on the camera. And by the way, this lens with the camera is only a $7 add-on. So it's about $93 for the 4K camera base, the body, as well as the lens and the IR sensor that you do need, because I've tried these without an IR sensor. I'm gonna show you what this camera looks like, what the footage looks like, what you can do with the zoom. So stay tuned for that and let's go. Okay, so this is the Makose UCM40 with the setting set at 1080p in this case, and I have it at 4K. I've got the varifocal lens on it. Um, I've got a couple settings set on the uh, OBS side in terms of um, saturation, contrast, and uh, gamma. Just to show you though what you can do with the lens, it's actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zoom in quite a bit. And when I do this, and I'm gonna focus and you'll see it's pretty touchy from a focus perspective. This is the one all the way in the back, and there's about only a quarter turn or so available on it. But once you get it focused in, you can just tell in terms of focus, and I'm sorry, I'm going to look really big on a YouTube video, but you can see just how much detail you can get out of it in terms of focusing in directly. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm in focus here on my monitor. Now I'm going to zoom back out just for everyone's sake, because that was a bit too tight on my face and try to get it back where it was. It's very, very touchy. All right, so, and that's that's basically what the camera looks like kind of out of the box with its glass. It's not the greatest glass in the world, but um, the fact that you can actually manually focus it, zoom in, zoom out, change things like aperture. Let me just show you what I can do with aperture. So here I'm changing the aperture and it's gonna flash a little bit because I think it's doing a little bit of um, a little bit of camera settings maybe through the uh, auto exposure and some of those on the actual camera. But you can get an idea then of, of some of the things that you can do. And the nice thing is because if you do try to change aperture on web cameras, typically it'll cut frame rate or other things will start to go wrong because the camera will try to compensate for the lower light. Again, this is Makose UCM40 and the Yushung 1699 USB-C microphone. Okay, so as you saw, it's probably not a replacement for an APS-C camera with a nice autofocus lens, but it does give you some additional functionality and capabilities. For example, if you do want to do things like the Raspberry Pi community might do with maybe macro photography, or if you also want to just dial in your shot, dial in the framing, zoom in, you know, and set all of those settings with all of these different settings here, you can actually use the screws to clamp them down to make sure that they don't move once you do have them set because once you do get this camera in focus and you are you know within a foot or so of where you're going to be like if you're just streaming maybe cooking content or taking online meetings from your desk most of the time and not moving more than a couple of feet from your normal spot this is going to work for you and you're going to be able to get the frame you want and you're going to be able to get the uh the focus that you want and a lot of times other cameras are notorious for focus hunting doing those kind of things this one won't do that because it's fully manual so you've got all the adjustability of manual but it is kind of an enthusiast camera so it is something that isn't quite as plug and play as say dropping in the newest logitech webcam but you do have something that you can customize you can swap the lenses out on and you can see why using these for cctv or using them for Raspberry Pis can also equate to a nice camera that can be used for things like your live streams, your online meetings, your YouTube videos, maybe as a second camera. So this is actually a pretty darn good deal at $92, and you, you could hear also that I was pairing it with that Yushang microphone, 
for about $16.99 on Amazon. So both of those were really good. So if you want to see more about, by the way, that Yusheng microphone, check out the video on the screen right now. If you want to see more about the Makose camera, check out this video as well. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.